February 14th will always have a new and different meaning, a sad one, especially in Florida. And for the families of the victims, every day is marked by February 14th. We want to take a look now at each of those whose lives ended too early. 14-year-old Alyssa al Hadef was the youngest of the victims. She was a star soccer player who was honored by the U.S. Women's National Team. 14-year-old Martin Duque, his brother described him as sweet and caring and loved by all. 17-year-old Nicholas Dwaret. Nicholas was on the high school swim team and was to attend the University of Indianapolis on an academic scholarship. 14-year-old Jamie Guttenberg. Family and friends say she looked out for the underdog and tried to be friends with those who were bullied. 15-year-old Luke Hoyer. Luke was described as always smiling and a teen who deeply loved his family. 14-year-old Gina Montalto. She was a talented artist who illustrated for a local magazine. She was also a member of the school's color guard. 17-year-old Joaquin Oliver. He was a basketball player and was buried wearing the jersey of the Miami Heat's Dwayne Wade, who then dedicated his season to Oliver. 14-year-old Kara Loughran. Kara was a dancer and enjoyed spending time at the beach. 14-year-old Elena Petty. Elena was in the junior ROTC and volunteered in the Florida Keys in the aftermath of Hurricane Irma. 18-year-old Meadow Pollock. Meadow was described as a star with a smile like sunshine. She planned to attend Lynn University. 17-year-old Helena Ramsey. She excelled in academics and was described as a kind-hearted and thoughtful person. 14-year-old Alex Schachter. Alex was a part of the school's marching band and friends said he was the type of person who just wanted to make others happy. 16-year-old Carmen Shentrup. Carmen was a National Merit Scholarship semifinalist who had dreams of becoming a medical scientist and finding the cure for ALS. 15-year-old Peter Wang. Peter was in a junior ROTC program and helped guide students to safety when gunfire erupted. Peter was posthumously accepted to the U.S. Military Academy at West Point for his actions. 35-year-old Scott Beagle, a geography teacher and the school's cross-country coach. He also died protecting the lives of his students. 49-year-old Chris Hickson, the school's athletic director and wrestling coach, another hero killed trying to help students to safety. And 37-year-old Aaron Feiss, the school's assistant football coach. Aaron dedicated his life to the students at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School and died shielding them from gunfire. Each and every one of them will always be remembered. A special place in Florida's history and our hearts. Thank you for spending time with us on our broadcast.